this for the Bantamweight World title. 22 Duke and Noir, 27 Walsh. Look at those records, almost identical. The height, perfectly balanced. It's champion versus champion as the Fire Kid looks to tame the Lancaster Tiger. Body Johnson gets this huge title fight underway. Bama 25. Champion versus champion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. We get ready for three five minute rounds in the professional bantamweight division. This is a title bout for Bama's bantamweight championship of the world. Champion versus champion. Our officials are ready. Our fighters are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise if you're ready! Introducing first, your challenger in the blue corner. This man stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 133.2 pounds. He has a professional record of 12 wins, one loss, zero draws, and one no contest, with six of those wins by TKO. Fighting out of Paris, France, he is your reigning featherweight champion of the world, Tom Fire Kid Dukenwa! And ladies and gentlemen, standing in the red corner, this man is five feet eight inches tall and weighted officially at 134.4 pounds. He has a professional record of 14 wins, three losses and zero draws, with six of those wins also by TKO. Fighting out of Lancaster, England, he is your reigning, your defending, bantamweight champion of the world, Shay Charge, Mark Goddard. Oh, so look at this stare down, Chris. This is it. Champion versus champion. Duke and Noir looking to be a two way champion. Shea Walsh saying, no, this title's going to stay in England. Walsh, the champ at Bantamweight. Duke and Noir wears the strap at Featherweight. The audience absolutely captivated and mesmerized by two incredibly gifted martial artists here tonight in our main event at Bama 25. That's right, the first of potential three rounds and the low kick attempt by Duke and Noir immediately moves out. Walsh, they tie up immediately. Little uppercut left hook there from Walsh. And watch for Duke and Noir's entrances and exits off those long looping combinations. He is so quick, blink in a moment and it'll be over. But Walsh doing very well to tie up at an opportune moment here, but Duke and Noir shrugs him off. Very interesting. Chris, the speed of this opening from both men though, it's like lightning. Incredible stuff, as expected. Shea chasing Duke and Wah down, but then a surprise takedown from Tom. Controlling, lassoing the legs. Shea catching the wizard there with his left arm. Catches a possible knee there. Actually, that skimmed wide. That was very good. That was close. Yes, incredibly tense here. The atmosphere, incredible. And Chris, have you ever seen such a card as we've had tonight at Bama 25? The arena, electric. The main event, though, certainly not disappointing with the exchanges between both men. Shea doing a great job controlling the clinch thus far when Tom gets in. Superb the body shot there. And oh! What's what all shot. over the body shot then the right hand from Dukenwell. Devastating stuff there. The shot to the body, the shot to the head, and it's all over in devastating fashion from Duke Noir. Shea was holding on, looking to grapple, and Tom escaped. As I said, it was all about those connections and disconnections from those positions. It happened so fast, I almost didn't have a moment to think. The audience on their feet here tonight in Birmingham. Duke Noir, two belts to his name. Chris, it was textbook stuff. It was textbook stuff. Shot to the body, shot to the head. Twist, twist, bang, bang, all over. Take a look here at how that went down. Blink in a moment and you'll miss it. Shea doing a great job There's of covering. the body shot. And there we go. He tried to get a hold of Tom. It's the elbow. The he was fishing for an underhook on the left. Take a look at this from this angle right here. Shea punching, covering, 
looking to get a hold of Tom right there, and then over the top comes the elbow. Oh, Shea was beautiful. fishing for the underhook. Tom disconnected and sparked him out. Here we go, right over the top. And Tom does so good at that. Here we go, the left side here from Shea. Looking to secure him, Tom holds on and then comes right over the top. Taking a nosedive is the champ, Shea Walsh, a cartwheel and sues for Dukenois. The split for good measure. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Have you ever seen a guy move like that in MMA? Tom Dukenois, at a young age, has been captivating the world with his skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ended one minute, 15 seconds of the first round. Your winner by knockout and new bantamweight champion of the world, Tom Fire King Dukenwa. Tom. Let you adjust your belt there, but let's say one thing right away now. How does it feel to be Bama's double weight world champion, featherweight and bantamweight champion of the world? Oh, Phil. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, um, yeah, so happy right now. The, the fight, the fight finished very, very, very fast. So I'm kind of surprised about that, but uh, generally I'm happy that the work has paid off and. There is a lot of, of work ahead, and I can't wait to, 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 to get a, another step. Now, you proved your worth at bantamweight last time out in Dublin. Looked very strong and very fit. But Shea is a totally different opponent, and yet still a first-round stoppage. It's not the same when you see him on video, so... Yeah, he puts uh, a lot of pressure on me. This guy was to totally well prepared, and... Thank, thanks world to give me the opportunity to get a, a world title and that, that, that's just the sport, that's just life and thank you again uh, Shay and, and I hope you will be a, a good career. Now Chris, where, um, sorry Tom, where do you go from here because double weight champion, are you going to stay at bantamweight now, that's the rumour. At Jackson we, we love belts so there is another belt in my category, the, the Bam Bam Lanzel belt so I would like to compete against the, the, the owner of that belt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. A two-weight champion of the world, Fire Kid Tom Dukenwa. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everybody coming to see me tonight. Have a great night.